So as far as Unix commands, um, on my website, there's a Unix tutorial. And what I would recommend is going through at least the first couple. That will get you through the um, how to move around uh, between directories. And it will also allow you to learn how to copy files, move files, make directories, that kind of stuff. So let's start with that. So to begin with, PWD is print working directory. So it says I'm in home and Galbraith jaw, which is my username. And by the way, where this is located, so if I go to the computer, the C drive, into SIGWIN, here's the home directory. That is the same home that it's referring to right here. So if I want to go into this folder in the Windows Explorer, there's Galbraith jaw. So all of these things are here. Well, what if I want to see what all's in there? What I do is I do ls for list. And this shows me all of the things that are currently in there. And by the way, notice that that does match up with all these things that are in Explorer. Now, let's say I want to go into one of these directories here. So I have a flowers, one of my previous students. Um, if I want to go into that, what I can do is I can change directory. So I do cd space, and then I want to type in a flowers. Make sure you use capitals and lowercase. That matters. So I do that. And now, notice it shows me that I have this little tilde, which is my home directory. It's a shortcut for that. I'm in an A flowers. And I can list things here. So these are all the files in that directory. If I want to go back up, what I do is I do cd dot dot. Two dots means go up one directory. So now I'm back in my root directory. Well, what if I want to make a new directory? So let's say I want to make a projects folder in here. What I do is I do mkdir, make directory, a space, and then the name of the folder I want. And then notice that when I list it, here's projects right here. What about removing? So then it's rmdir. Notice that projects has entirely disappeared from here. So that's kind of cool. Um, other things that you might want to do is um, there are a lot of these commands, if you're just curious about like what all you can do with them, there's something called man, which is short for manual. So let's say I want to find out what I can do with the remove directory command. This shows you all the things that you can actually do. So remove directory is the basic command. What you do is you do remove directory and the directory you want. And then when you see these things in square brackets, those are optional things. And so you can put those in between. So some of the options are, for example, you can have like parent directories you can deal with. There's verbose, so it'll tell you what's going on. Um, and then it gives you a little bit more information. So Q quits out of those. So let's say that I'll go ahead and make directory projects again. What if I want to do remove directory dash B projects? Now it gave me more information instead of just deleting it like it did before, notice it tells me more information. So typically, these are dash and then some letter, which allows you to find out more information. Now, for example, list dash A shows me all of the ones, including these little dot files. Notice those weren't there before. Those are technically hidden files. In Unix, if you have a dot at the beginning of the file, it considers it a hidden file. So what else can I do with list? I can do dash A, which allows me to see everything. There's a lot of commands here, you may notice. Directory, sorting, show groups, lots of information. Time, sort. So some of these are more than one letter. So notice this is dash dash sort equals some value. That's another way of uh, giving it more information in the command line, is you do this command plus equals some word that you type out. That will allow you to make directories and remove directories. Now, what about files? So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Do I have projects still? I don't. So let's make directory projects. I'll change into that folder. And I'm going to create a file. Well, let's do this. I'm going to change. I'm going to copy a file that's in the previous directory into this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do cp for copy, lname.txt, which was in the directory just above me, 
So I actually do dot dot slash, and that basically means go from my current directory, go up one level, and then grab that guy. And then if you want the current directory, I do one dot, and that means the current directory. So now notice I have copied that folder from here to here. And then what if you just want to move? That's MV. So now an interesting thing. What about rename? It turns out there's actually no rename command in Unix. What you do is you move a file. So let's say I want to name this lname2.txt. What I'm going to call this is lname me.txt, lname2.txt. So moving it to the same exact location is the same as renaming it. Um, by the way, you may end up running into problems where you have uh, files and folders and whatnot that have spaces, because Windows allows that. Um, a backslash space will let, generally let you deal with those. Um, so a backslash space is the same as a space from Windows. All right, next. There's a special feature that's in here where if you hit tab when you start typing something, it'll actually autocomplete it. So let's go up a directory again. So I've got all this stuff. So let's say I don't really want to type out all of this particular one. What I can do is I can do, well, that's actually not a directory. So let's do just this directory here. So I'm going to do cd space and start spelling a couple of letters and hit tab. And it'll automatically complete that for me, assuming I've typed in enough letters. Now, this doesn't always um, help. So let's say I want to remove one of these two files here. So those two, there's actually a couple of files that have exactly the same thing. So if I hit tab here, it completes up to the point where they are the same. And so I actually have to give it more information in order to finish completing this. So if I do G now, now it'll do autocomplete after I hit tab. Um, by the way, if you want to get out of this whole window, you can always do exit. And you can completely exit out of the whole thing. So something you should know is that uh, you can have multiples of those windows open at the same time. So if you want to, for example, have a particular directory open and let's say use Emacs to do some code editing, you can do that and then have another uh, window open where you basically do your compiling. So you can be editing in one window and have another window open for compiling. So that's often what I do is I'll have something over here Something over here, and I'm like, all right, this guy, I'm going to go into projects. And let's say I want to mess with this file here. So Emacs and then space and the name of the uh, program allows you to open up Emacs. So I've got this text file here. And maybe over here, what I want to do is Maybe I want to have, like, basically have the command line open for doing some stuff. By the way, another thing that's useful to know is if you hit the up arrow and the down arrow, you can go back through all of the commands you've typed in so far. It's really useful, like, if you just do G++ the same name over and over again, you just go up one level and deal with that. All right, so that should get you started using Unix.